Delusional Podcast Season 2, Episode 43. Round of applause. Whoa. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of y'all. Thank you so much for coming back to this episode of the You Should Know Podcast. Guys, happy MLK Day. Take the time to just um, pay homage to the GOAT. Happy MLK Day to everybody. If you're watching this, you look below you and you said subscribe button isn't pressed. Yeah. If you look even more below that, you see that comment section is a fee with your name. Guess what? Even more on guys. Last week's episode was freaking phenomenal. One of my favorite episodes. But guess what? Every week we're going to try to push it up a little more. I did not like the noises I just made. That was very, very hard to say and listen to. I am so sorry. Got some announcements. A week from today, on January 23rd, 2023. Drum roll, please. The Patreon will be live and available for y'all to join. The con- <laughs> the content we've already we have stacked stuff. We've got bonus clips from episodes. We have vlogs ready. We have studio tours ready. We there's so we're gonna ex- explain more in depth next week whenever it drops. But guys, I am so excited for y'all to join this Patreon. I know y'all are gonna be so happy when you do. Y'all have been waiting for it. We've been working hard on it. Me and co-host Cam, we we really are gonna take the time, and we have taken the time already to put a lot of effort into this, so y'all can enjoy this exclusive membership, this exclusive content. I cannot wait. For you guys to see that. We have a fantastic episode ready. We got Carlos Camp in the studio today. You know we got the stories. We got the scenarios. And scenarios that probably other creators will steal. uh, World Star Hip Hop will steal. And make a lot of money off of the stuff that we create right here. But y'all are going to get to see it first. (laughs) Let's enjoy the rest of the episode. Three, two, one. Happy New Year from our friends over at Manscaped. The ball has officially dropped, but that doesn't mean you have to drop the ball on your balls in 2023. Whether you had a New Year's kiss or not, the leaders in Below the Waist Grooming have you covered from your much-needed resolution of bringing sexy back. Join the 7 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use code PSH for 20% off plus free shipping. Let us have a toast for a new year and a new you. And a new you with no pubes. Guys, you already know every single week, We talk about how great Manscaped is. It's a product that we genuinely use in our daily lives. Today, I use the nose trimmer. This one right here. I use the weed whacker. I use it in my nose because I was getting a little hairy. Hey, I'm a human. Make fun of me if you want. You can't anymore because I got Manscaped. You can get it too. I'm telling you, the products are freaking amazing. Manscaped, we love you. The fans love you. So, if you haven't already, get 20% off and free shipping with code PSH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code PSH. Time to feel sexy and free this 2023 with Manscaped. Now back to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. We got Coles Cam back in the studio. Okay. Bit, 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 let's, bit, let's talk about something. Bit, bit. Yeah, poor. I mean, Jergo, Jergo, just is... watch him. He's sad. Watch Oh, poor Bubba. Poor dude. It's all right. It's okay. Just it's snap out of it. Okay. okay. Let's, why, are we, why would we harm him so early in the episode? Because he's not, he, you know, he's just not, he's... He's having a sick day. Allergies are, cedar's high. Cedar's, cedar's high. I, I mean, when I tell y'all my allergies are through the roof through right now. Like, there is no roof. Like, it blew straight, it literally went Ooh. straight Ooh. through the roof. That's, that is an accurate depiction of what I sound like in the morning. Dude, like a mother <laughs> every morning. It's it's disgusting. It's really. I literally can't. I can't see. I can't see when I wake up. Okay, but I'm you, like. But I'm gonna say something. Ugh! I yeah. did not like the way you just looked. Uh, that, that's every morning. Okay, but you know what? Ask I, Olivia. But you you not you wanna know what I kind of like? Don't say you like that little lump. Oh my god. You're. St- it feels like there's like a little person in my throat. You're so problematic. I, I, I name him. I name him Tony. Oh no. I'm like hey Tony, he's you in got, there this morning. You got morning. Tony in your throat. <laughs> I bought a year. Mm-hmm. I'm in there back in there, bro. How have you been, bud? How have you been? How have you been? I've been good. How are you? I'm good. Do it right. Please. No, do it we right. said we're leaving that in 2022. Okay. We never we, said that, but it's okay. You, we did in we the did. last episode. No, we didn't. It's okay. Though. In the first episode. In the last episode. In the first episode of 2022. 2023. 
<laughs> you, he's, this guy's a freaking liar. Look at him. Are you excited for next week? I'm very excited. There's multiple things that, like, multiple things that are coming next week. It's just going to be a whole bunch of, is it? Ah, like a lot. Yeah, there's multiple, multiple things. What? Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. So one of them we could say is Patreon because we already Ooh, said yeah, it. But yeah, already, yeah. But uh, Patreon is officially, officially, spell officially. Don't o need you to do it. O f f i s c i a l o. I y. Officialo, officialo. <laughs> out next Monday. Patreon's gonna be crazy fun stuff there. Um, we're gonna have the link and everything when it's live in the descriptions and whatnot. Obviously, it's not gonna be there this episode because it's not up yet. But. It's going to be in the description. Next episode, you're going to be able to go right over there, see what we are cooking up. Because we're, I mean, I'm talking, go ahead, put it in there. Imagine there's a big old pot, pot right here. Put it, and we're just, no, 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 no. We're just Our foot's not in there. Our whole shin our whole is in there. Yeah, we're whole, in there. Look come at this, on. Look come at this on. Put it in there. Come on. Pot. I come mean, on. that is, look at the, look at that. Look That's at Patreon sequence. right there. That's Patreon. This, That's, this, this is Patreon right there. That made me feel really good. When you moved, when you moved yours, my, my, my L3 got a little. <laughs> my, 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 oh, you got a heavy leg. It's those hips. C no, carries a lot of weight. It's called muscle, yeah. It's called the VMO. I feel like I'm about to pass out. Quad. I do a lot of leg extensions. They look really good. You wouldn't know. Anyway. You do. From, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, okay. That, I mean, I'm not going to disagree. Is that on Patreon? That, uh, no, 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 no. But. <laughs> leg muscle. That's what it was. I can't, to do I can't wait to get the testimonies back from the people that our members of oh, the yeah. of the of the oh, Patreon. It's gonna be unreal. It's gonna. It's, it's gonna I cannot because we are actually confident in this. Like, oh, it's yeah, like it's some funny shit is in, the, is in is in is in is in the is in the uh, is in the Patreon. Ever 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 is in the is in the is in the is in the is is in the is it? I could. Ooh. We don't talk about enough normal stuff on this pod. Stop. No, I hate that when I'm editing. I love it, it. But when I'm, you don't edit it, you don't listen back. Don't say that. Because I gotta. <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Sorry, is it true? We always talk about. Me editing it. Okay, we're teaching Cam how to edit. He's gonna edit a lot on the Patreon. We're teaching you. There's nothing wrong with that. I love editing. I hate editing that though. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we never normal talk stuff. about it, our, our normal stuff, and I want to talk about something normal real quick. Okay. I've watched a, a documentary. Okay. On Netflix. Okay. Called the Hashlinging Slasher. It's not called that, but it's something of that. Say, it's it just it's that something of that term that. called the the hit the the hitchhiking wielding hitchhiker. <laughs> the, what the hatchet wielding hitchhiker? There we go. I was about to say. Have rewind. you seen that? Have not. No. Do you do you, do you, do you remember that guy though? Do I remember the hatchet wielding hitchhiker? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna go with. No. Okay. Remember that super viral video? Whenever like YouTube was just popping off, and it was like. It was crazier when shit went viral. This was a very viral interview. And you've seen it. It was the guy, the homeless dude with the, didn't look homeless. He was like a, a 20, 21 year old kid. He looked, he was like a good looking dude, long hair. He had the bandana and he uh, got interviewed on the side of the street and he was like, smash, smash, smash. You've never seen that? Never seen you, it. If you Dang saw a picture of him, you would see it. Maybe, but. But that, so this conversation is dead now. Well. I mean, I wish we didn't have limited time. I'd yeah, show you, but, but it's yeah. You, I. What do you want me to say? You want me to say I've seen it? Well, I've seen it. Preferably. That was fantastic. No, well, no, it's not fantastic because because I haven't seen. Because he it. murdered somebody. So I don't know. Okay, see, there we go. So he was super viral, right? And he went on the Jimmy Kimmel. Just lead, lead me to it. So he was. So basically, how it starts, right? He's a hitchhiker in California, right? He's a hitchhiker in California, and he was a super like hippie. Earth is cool whatever whatever and he became viral because he was hitchhiking with the dude apparently the dude was like this raging like um hatred fueled dude was a racist guy and he was like i'm jesus why he was driving this dude and like hit a black construction worker against a van didn't kill him but he hit him against a van and then the hitchhiker dude was like what the hell like what are you what, what's going on then this bystander lady tries to stop the guy from like continuing pain on this construction worker the, the driver grabs the woman and is starting to like strangle her. The hitchhiker guy pulls out a hatchet out of his backpack and smash, smash, starts hitting the dude. Didn't kill him, right? Then that he sucks. That interview but. goes viral because he's like, first of all, he's a hero. Yeah. Then he was like, he has a great personality, gave a funny interview. Mm -hmm. Millions of views. Goes on the Jimmy Kimmel show. Super viral, right? Mm -hmm. fast, fast forward a couple weeks. Months. He's super. Everybody. He's getting stopped. He's getting stopped everywhere. 
gets arrested. Why are you getting arrested? Hatch boy. He murders a lawyer. He he went to New York, murders a lawyer. Spoiler alert. Well, I mean, it's news time, time. But yeah, that's what that's what I've been watching. And it was crazy because I remember that's that. Insane. I remember that clip and I've always wondered, like, what happened to him? That's, that's it's on, it's, where's, what is it on? Netflix. Netflix. It's like the number one thing on Netflix Hatch right now. Hatch wielding hitchhiker? Something of that. It'll be like number one on the suggestion uh, suggestion thing. Wow. Suggestion Maybe thing. your suggestion. My, my number one is going to say, like, Ginny and Georgia. I watched Ginny and Georgia. I can't too mu- talk too much about it because that's actually really good. I also watched well. Grease the other day. I love I First love, time? Are you nuts? Okay, I don't know. You said it like it was your first time. You know me. What's Grease my favorite genre movie? I mean, like, do we want to say it? Yes. Like, chick flicks. Like, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's musicals. No, it's chick flicks. I'm going to go chick flicks. You've flix. seen me watch one chick flick, and now you just put that on me for the I'm rest of my chick life. I'm going to go chick flicks 1A, musicals 1B. Documentaries 2. No, I hate documentaries. Are I, you I honestly nuts? do. I do not watch Start, documentaries like that. He starts the episode. Dude, I watched this new documentary. I hate him. <laughs> no. What are we doing here? Just because I watch one, that's what you do. You, I do, I do one thing. Like, I, I get skinny one time. You're like, you're just a skinny skeleton, oh, bad you rib. Huge, you were huge before? I was big. I was, I was, Cam. You I were was, athletic. I would never, I would I never was bigger deem, than you at one point. I would point. never deem either one of us have been big. I was bigger yet. than you at one point. I was swole. All right, bro. I used to do nothing but lift and eat. No, good days, good old days. Good old days, and we'd listen. You to can Eminem. still do that. But I found a video of us the other day, lifting in denim jeans, <laughs> listening to Eminem. We were disgusting human that's, beings. That's what the armpit of America will do to you. <laughs> that is one hundred percent what junior college <gasps> in Oklahoma will do to you. Imagine lifting in denim, listening <sighs> to M. And it was it was relapse. Understand something. When I come up in the, I need the fans jumping. I and need we the fist to jump in the air. I'm in the that I'm in the care. No, like, and, and we we're, were just sitting there in, we got pockets. Like, what is, like, no. so we're like, we're in the 80s, right? Yeah, like, it's what disgusting. Is, that's sick. That's bad behavior. And it was that small little weight room that was like in the, in the gymnasium, in that hallway, that small one that had that one machine. We were in that hot ass thing. Dude, they literally had the enormous, like, industrial sized fan in the corner. Didn't even work. That was the only hope of you not getting a heat stroke. Didn't work. It was, I mean, it was bad. Oh, God. I remember. Carpet. Carpet? Carpet. For a weight room. Think about that. You're dripping sweat. It's just soaking. Imagine what that smelled like, huh? Just fungi, bacteria. Oh, God. I have a, I have a question, Cam. Hopefully I have an answer. But your questions, you never know. Why does the sun follow me everywhere? (laughs) You ever thought about that? Shut up. Shut your mouth. What do you mean? That's a genuine question. Why does the sun follow me everywhere? Have you ever been driving and like looked at the sun while you're driving? That thing is going to follow you. How is it not? Because it's enormous and it gives us life. That's that's fine. I'm saying I understand why I see it. Why is it following me? Bro, I'm driving not- 80 miles per hour on a toll road. Why is that thing catching up with me, Cam? You c- <laughs> catching up with you? It's so big. It's not, it is not moving. We are moving. It's not, fo- it's not chasing nobody. What are you, what is he, your enemy, fanboy? That's what I'm wondering. Why is that thing it's right there, there with me? It's going to be there. And That's then it goes fine. to nighttime because our globe goes like this. Nighttime, we're on the opposite side. We go seepy. We wake up. It's there again. But how does that also, that's he doesn't a- have a maze and a track to follow you, my friend. The how, why is he, he doing it? It's the sun. How, but how does that work? It's the sun. <laughs> It doesn't move. Like it's we move around it. Did you skip a couple classes? A few. Were you too busy combing your long Troy Polamalu hair with your little tail in the back, trading Pokemon in the bathroom? What were you doing? But I feel like you, you skipped science. I, but I feel like you don't give me credit for good questions. That's a good That's question. That's a horrible question. You might get good credit for a good question. That's horrendous. That's a great question. Matter of fact, you, you've not given me an answer. Matter of fact. Bro, I there because there, there's no answer. There, the answer. Then that's is, a good question. If there's no answer, that's a good question. The answer is it doesn't move. Like your question is invalid. The sun doesn't move. No, the sun <sighs> for us in our context. No, we revolve around the sun. Sun, planets, movement, science, class. You <laughs> skipped it. Anyway, um, you just you just sparked a good old memory. Wait, can I? Sorry, before you, I have one more question. Go. I have one more question. Go. The, how does the moon stay connected to the sun at night? I, I've really never understood that. That's a genuine Dude, question, and do not make fun of the me. The moon's not connected to the sun. 
The moon is connected to us. Okay, but how does it always stay nighttime? What do you mean? <laughs> so you're okay. Look. So no, no, no. You're the so sun. you're saying. So you're saying. You're the sun. So you're what? saying the sun. You're, let me get my thought out. <laughs> He's about to eat one of these right here. Good old knuckle sandwich. So you're saying the sun's here, yep. the earth's here, yep. and the moon goes in between. No. Are you nuts? I mean, not like, not directly sun, moon, earth. No, but I'm it's saying the sun, alignment. The alignment. It's sun, other planets. Bink, 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 bink. Okay. You're saying there's other planets between us and the moon. No. Did I say moon? I said sun, other planets. Now, our planet has a moon. So our planet is constantly going around the sun, but the moon is constantly going around us. So eventually it will hit, like, yes, those are eclipses and stuff like that, sun, moon, earth, but it's not always in between us. Okay? You haven't answered my question. I don't even remember your question at this point. How does this moon stay connected throughout the whole nighttime? Because the, the moon is to us as we are to the sun. So What is this, a riddle? <laughs> say like a human. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aristotle. <laughs> yeah. So the sun, we the sun is so big that we are in its gravitational force. We move around it. Say it normal. Oh my god, <laughs> this is normal. If you would have went to class, if you didn't skip Miss Elderberry's class, then you would know exactly what I'm talking about. This just let me talk. Say it. You're asking for normalness. Let me say speak. it in six words or less. Sun big, we follow. We big, moon follow. Okay, that's how that works. That doesn't make sense to me. Because you skipped the class. Just listen. Just listen. I am. It doesn't sun, make sense. Such a large star. It has a pull to it. Gravitational pull. We are connected in that. Hence why we revolve around the sun. That is our calendar years. What we So know the sun's it. in the middle. Sun, yes. Okay. Okay. The planets in our solar system are going around. So the, the sun, sun doesn't move. No. The sun, sun stationary. Okay. Oh. We're going to do sun stationary. We're going. Pew, pew, pew. We make a full lap. That's one year. Okay. okay. That's the year aspect. Okay, now <laughs> I'm learning about the moon. I don't care about the goddamn. So now calendar. the moon. <laughs> so now we are the stationary one in terms of the moon. Mm -hmm. The moon is with us, our gravitational pull. Okay, so the moon's gonna stick with us when we go, because we are bigger than said moon. Moon sticks with us. It's in our gravitational pull. It's not gonna disarray. So it's moving with us. Yes, correct. So it why is, is it not us. always night? Because when we're facing the sun, my friend. Oh, so it's always there. So we revolve and we rotate. So he doesn't just revolve poke. Revolve is going in a big circle. Rotating, we're going like this. Okay. So we are doing this. Okay. And doing this at the same time. So we're going like this. So he doesn't just, the moon just doesn't poke his head. No, he doesn't just say, <laughs> ah, did loo and then go back. Oh, no. okay. The reason it's night is when we've made our rotation, typically 12 hours. Mm -hmm. Now we are on the opposite side to where the sun is hitting the other side of the earth. Hence, time zones. That's why they are now in day. We are now in night going to sleep. So then we're going to keep going. We're evolving. It's nowhere near that fast. It takes a whole year. But then it's just going to... Okay. Think this is, this is the sunrise. Birds chirping. Early bird gets the worm. Beep, 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 wake up. Boom. Daytime. Go through your day. Boom. Nighttime. I get a lot of heat for these questions. And I'm not the only Golly, one. I feel turn like me I help... Turn me into a damn professor for a second. I feel like I help out a lot of people with these questions. Make fun of me if you want. Okay. But this, this is the thought that you sparked okay. to me. Back in probably the same uh, age group that you were skipping, probably like third, it was probably third or fourth grade science. Um, this girl, this I'm going to not say her name, but we were in school Make together. We were in the class. I'm not going to say Suzanne. her name. Okay, Suzanne. So Suzanne has a brilliant question one day. Kind of like one of your brilliant questions. Brilliant. <laughs> Horrible question. Anyway, she goes, Miss, 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 I have a, I have a very, uh, I have a thought. I have to say it. Will we ever be able to stand on earth like they did the moon? That's okay. a great question. You <laughs> sick, you rat bat. Okay, so me, I guess I was very intelligent, but other kids were too. Er, <laughs> to honk my own horn! Er, er. No, okay? So I simply state, I go, hey, Suzanne, like, you're... Oh, you suck. You answered that question she was, she was at my table. So I was going to save her the you're embarrassment of the whole classroom. You're that kid. She asked a bad question. That's I mean, a good question. Every question is a good question. Let me take that back. She asked it, but I had the answer. So I told her, I said, hey, Suzanne, you're doing it right now. You're standing on the earth as you would the moon right now. This, it's not the same. It, it's the exact same. No. She goes, no, 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 no. Like we're in the earth. Like how do you stand on it? That's exactly what I was thinking. We're in the earth and, and I they're go, on the moon. I go, okay, Suzanne, <laughs> like this, this is the, you can't kick through it. We're not in the earth. That would be lava. That'd be the core. We are on the earth. I said, oh. I said, the reason you think it's different, we here on earth, we have an atmosphere. Yeah. 
Okay, the moon doesn't. That's why it's just space to bloop. You've, you've landed. I like that. She goes, no, 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 no. I see what you're saying, Cameron. But um, like, how could we stand on it? And I go, all right, see, you're <laughs> making me angry at this point. You're doing it right now. Let's just move on. Let's just avoid this. Yeah. She goes, okay, no, you don't get it. Excuse me, miss. Please, can you help me? How can we ever, will we ever be able to stand on the earth? And I kid you not, like, I can't make this up. She would not let this go for about half a year. Like half a year. I bet she's, I bet she's like in Congress now. I bet she's not. I really bet she's not. Like, I, she's I can, smart. I, mm. It's those the ones that are the special ones. The, the ones that ask questions. Yeah, but then when the ones that have answers give it and the teacher gives it and the rest of the class gives it and then you still question it. It's like, sure, you're you're headstrong, you're going places, but it's not the right. Y'all want to know the type of kid Cam was? He brought the kid, he brought the teacher apples and shit every day and kissed their feet. Mwah. Hey, Mrs. Mwah, I'm the smartest one in here. Mwah. Thank you. I've never kissed a foot outside of Olivia's in my life. You would kiss my? No, oh no, no, <laughs> no. Those socks, I'm not kissing that. No matter the amount that you brought. That's not true. No, that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not kissing your foot. I'm not kissing your foot. Uh, but yeah, long story short, don't skip your science class uh, like Peyton or Suzanne did. Um, you're standing on the earth as you could the moon right now, and uh, the moon is to us as we are to the sun. There you go. How much? Quick little stuff. No, I'm not even, we're not going to do this at all. No, don't even look at me. No, it's stupid. Two thousand No, it's not. Two thousand No, bro, I can't. No, hell, no, there's a different level of pride. No, I'm not. I can't, bro. I can't. I seriously can't. I can't. That's, I wouldn't let you do that's that. That's insane. That's that's. But insane. hypothetically, for two thousand dollars, no, it'd have to be more. Like I'm dead serious. It'd have to be more. Like to kiss your foot <laughs> off bro, camera. It's your foot off camera. It is your feet. I have clean feet. But I don't care. It's your foot. Two thousand dollars off camera. Me kissing another man's phalanges, his toes. No, 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 bro. No. I wouldn't ever let you do it. I'm just <sighs> hypothetical situation. No. Yours, I might need to like. <laughs> yeah, you might I would have to go to the hospital. You might need to like. You might need to get like. Some guaranteed money up front before that, like even just a front end and a back end, yeah. Because yeah. that's that's you might walk out a little crust or something. Oh, oh yeah, oh. I'd be sick for a that'd couple be weeks. That'd be real bad. Right, I got a question for you now. I like that. The you should know podcast. Guys, our next partner is Athletic Greens. I take AG1 by Athletic Greens literally every day i gave ag1 a try because y'all know historically i'm not the most healthy guy and i made a <laughs> vow to my friends to my family and to myself to boost my immune system sure to get natural energy and thanks to ag1 and finally taking this stuff i feel so much better like it is amazing i take ag1 in the morning before starting my day and it makes me feel invincible it makes me feel healthy like i actually feel good now you guys know what i say to win the day you got to win the morning to win the morning you start with ag1 i mean i'm not i can't even lie i used ag1 before they were a sponsorship uh, a sponsor of ours and it is just fantastic i've been using it i love it it's very simple, very easy. I used to be, I legit used to be like the, the old man that would put all the different supplements in my little, oh, this is Monday and this is Tuesday. Now I'm just like water, AG1, brr, let's go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's genuinely hard for me to keep up with a, a supplement routine, a bunch of different like pills and I gotta do all this thanks to AG1. My AG1 is delivered to me every month so it's been super easy to make it a daily habit. 100%. So if you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So go to athleticgreens.com backslash PSH. That's athleticgreens.com backslash PSH. Check it out. The you Should Know Podcast. So we did a TikTok live this past week and someone had a question uh -oh. that we didn't have time on the live to really address. But I think you're absolutely foolish. So the question simply stated, <laughs> God, you're, you're so funny. Who would survive longer in an urban area zombie apocalypse? A hundred percent me. You, my friend, are ludicrous. You are insane. Cam, we could break this down however you want. I would begin. Cam, you would be, I would have hours my on you of survival. My natural hours, my natural instincts are 10 times better than you. I would be running, trying to survive and be like, damn, there's Cam on the ground. See ya. 
That's how bad it would be. See, initially, you think that's a good thought. You can't run. Your cardiovascular <laughs> endurance is so below the average for the human male. It is, it's not good. Like, it's, it's not good. First off, you're not running anywhere. And the fact that you think you would be running tells me exactly what I need to. There's going to be millions of zombies in the street. I'm going to be hunkered down in my in my absolute fortress that I've created. And you're going to be running. Tim, when have you built anything in your life? You're going to be to where you would build a I fortress. Built, when have I built anything? Yeah, other than a kiosk, huh? For, I, mean, I built a kiosk. This other, past, other than other than an IKEA uh, an IKEA furniture I've built, desk. I've built your furniture, your IKEA things is what I have put together because you lack the skill set to do it. And neither one of us can read sweet Sweden, Swedish, <laughs> the, um, the instruction manuals, but I at least had enough common sense. I could put it together. I also built, I, I built your bed. I also built. No, no, I built your bed. What? I built your bed. You built my bed because I was building the uh, the desk. The there was two people doing something. I said, hey, do you think you can come read Sweden? And you said no. And I said, hey, well, it's super simple. You put the things together, you put it together, and we did it together at the same time. Just off of saying that, you can't read Sweden. That's not how you say things. Read you, Swedish? You're not surviving. You. Oh, I'm going to have to read Swedish in Cam, a zombie apocalypse Cam, to survive. Cam has the hips of a 17-year-old Labrador that was caged up half his life. You're okay, not going you anywhere. You have the cardiovascular endurance of a 1987-born smoker that has smoked two packs a day every day for their life, and you would not survive. I was born with an immune like, deficiency. Exactly, and we know, and the zombies do too. They can they can sniff it right on you. They say, oh, he's got weak ribs. He's got weak ribs. They'll be easy. They'll be real tender. They'll snap easy. Cam, hand-to-hand. -hand, You're insane. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, I am so much better than you. Hand Hand to hand, I'm not hand to handing anybody. I'm gonna be up there picking apart the zombies, doing whatever I need to do, and I'm trying to stay away. If it comes down to it, you, I have a knife right in the head, and I go. You it's have all bad about stealth. You you acquire zero stealth. You have zero stealth to your back. You can't. You have zero stealth to your back. The zombies would hear your ankles clicking from a quarter mile away. They would say, "Hey, he's turning that left corner right down there on Main Street. Let's go ahead and let's go barricade him in." Your clicking Cam, ankles are giving you away. Cam. I am a ninja in the middle of the night. A, 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 a black cat. I am a destroyer of this zombie world, if you would. I. Oh my God. I am a feline landing on all fours, ready to prowl. Cam. You, on the other hand, do not make fun of my clacking ankles. You know that's my biggest insecurity. Cam, you have the attention span of, of a golden retriever that just got born out of a womb. You would see a zombie be like, oh, I'm about to go get him. Is that a shining light? And then you'd be from behind, done. Okay, first off, if someone's coming up from behind, they're, they're and I have better ears than you. I can hear you better. better. Ears than me. I can hear you're you. The only thing you have better than me in a, in a sense of an ear is music taste. In terms of direction and hearing your senses, that has been instilled in me from the young age of eleven due to Call of Duty. I know where my enemy combatants are. I know where these zombies are, especially if they're sitting. I, I will be able to hear it and pick it up. You, on the other hand, you're going to be so. So just lingering and hungering for a number two from McDonald's with a Diet Coke, and you're just going to be so, so depressed that you don't have that. That you are going to be out of, you're not going to be in the game, you're going to be out of it. Uh, wait, was that a Diet Coke? You're done. Cam, Cam, but you, my primal instincts of just figuring things out and surviving is way better than yours. You are over intellectual, and you're going to try to figure out everything. So if I take this, and I look at this map and do that, meantime, I'm just surviving. That's exactly. going to get you that, done for. That. Just surviving is the perfect example why I would win because you are based, your entire existence in this apocalypse is based on reactive. Me, on the other hand, I would be proactive. I'm going to say I have a barricade on 2nd Street. I know I can't go past 2nd Street, past the lights out because I don't know what's past there. Up to 2nd Street, I have it cleared due to the weeks of work that I did last week. You are just going to be like, oh, 2nd Street, there used to be McDonald's down there. I'm going to see if they have some fries left in the freezer so I can make them. There might even be a bag of D.C. I slap it a little bit and have a month's supply of D.C. You're going to go down to 2nd Street Cam. because of your lustful nature. Cam, but you, sick you, know, you know I can eat anything. I have no regard for my health. You can't, can't eat zombie flesh. You'd get sick. You Did are, you know that? Bet you didn't. Listen. Have you, listen, have listen, you listen, watched listen, The Walking Dead? Listen, you, have you watched listen, The Walking listen, Dead every episode, you, every listen, season? Listen, listen. You, you, on the other hand, are going to be like, ooh, where's my kelp juice? Ooh, where's my broccoli? I and didn't you know get, my kelp no, juice listen, let me finish. Be. They'd be in my herbal let garden finish. that I planted on the top of the building. Let me finish. You'd be like, ooh, ooh, where's my juicer? Ooh, where's my protein? Oh, I can't count my microbes. What is it called? Macros. I can't count my macros. Oh, I can't eat. I can't Nobody's survive. Nobody's worried about macro intake when I'm surviving from the undead. I would win. You're you are you're insane. ludicrous. You're you're ludicrous. You can't even name three ludicrous songs. You can't either. Go, dude. That's not the question. Uh -huh. Just like that.
You're insane. I have better ADS than you. What the hell is that? Aim down sight. See, you think you think the world is a Call of Duty map? This is real life. At least I've played it. You can't even name two zombie maps. See, that's the problem with you kids. You're an iPad baby and you think everything is a game. This is real life. This is real. And I, I can survive oh, real, real life. Oh, it's real? You can survive? Yes. Hmm. Okay. What's that right behind you? <laughs> the slow peak, he said. <laughs> At the end of the day, bro, I'm definitely winning. I'm definitely winning. You're dumb. And don't... Oh my God, for a split second. We're going baseline zombies. I'm winning. If this is I Am Legend, we're both going to lose, but I would, I would lose longer. Like, I, I would survive longer if this is like quiet place you're the first one gone you're the first your clicky ankles that thing's gonna jump you like so i mean i spent i spent my whole life in silence and solitude you i'm good do, at being you silent you spend most of your life in devastated sweaty loneliness but i mean it's you're just you're gonna you're gonna lose bro I'm you made my lie. butt sweat i have exactly sweaty devastated loneliness and silence i smell but, i smell like one of them you smell like perfumes i'm normal in their environment they're like oh that's they would, they would they're gonna be like that's one of us that's this is true they're but like oh he's got on i also he's got know, a manscape cologne i already know the tactic of i off one of them use their blood put a rambo mask on me maybe get a little gilly you're, and now i'm one of them you're too clean for that i didn't shower for three weeks that you're too true. clean for that. you wouldn't put that on you but that's the thing i'm having to survive bro we go to the ends to do it but you I don't know if you're built like that. System. I don't know my if you're built CNS, like that. My CNS is primed more. It's just, it just is. Everybody fled the comments with you who you think who would win. You think? Come on now. Come on now. Like, we could actually... Matter of fact, let's do this. Yikes! <laughs> you might survive off that. They go, oh, hell no. I don't want that George Washington person. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Cut that. Oh, you'd look insane. Can we just talk about... You would look absolutely insane. If you couldn't get a haircut, my, oh my God, it'd lock up on itself. I would wear a hat. You would get, oh, you'd wear, oh yeah. I'm the one worried, but he's going to have his, ugh, YSK. No, hey, go to the merch website. <laughs> The Cam, like, Cam would be trying to run, but he's not trying to crease his Jordans. He's gonna be like, ooh, I can't, I can't mess up my dunks. I just got these. Ooh, wouldn't, I won the raffle. Wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't even worry about him in a zombie pocket. Whatever. You're insane, bro. And you have a wife. Two people's gonna slow you down. I'm, I'm built by myself, baby. That's two people. And then you got your little runt-ass dog that was bad legs. And guess what? No, I can't even say that. Can't tell me. You can't. <laughs> Oh, it's funny as fuck. Oh, no, <laughs> I can't say that. By the grace of God. <laughs> Who, God forbid? <laughs> say one joke about my pup. My pup that I feed twice a day. Love on it, take it outside. But no, can't make one joke. Golly. They got your ass out of there with a swift. Dude, within like three seconds. <laughs> I, I said the joke and it, it was just like disconnected i said wow okay. and then i tried to add you back you cannot add this user back yeah, and you kept asking you're like where's cam what's what happened yeah, i was so scared i and thought i couldn't even text you or call you because it would end your portion of it oh, yeah ridiculous. i was trying to um let us know who you think would win a zombie apocalypse for real because this guy's insane absolute head case whatever dude you suck all right let's do another competition sure whose screen time do you think is longer mine or yours what's your screen time Bro, if you even think that is remotely close, you are in. You need to be seen. Like you need to be studied, bro. If you think that's close. Okay, g take a guess on my screen time. Ten hours. No way. I don't even. I'm not even awake my for ten dead. hours. My phone's dead. My phone's dead. Fuck. Check your screen time. Screen time. Oh shit. What is it? <laughs> Eleven and a half. Eleven and a half. This guy breathes and eats with his phone on. Like, I mean, absolutely <laughs> stuck to it like glue. I swear on my life, if I were to open my phone, if my phone was not dead, proof, first off, so you don't think I'm ducking and dodging, clicking the lock button, it's completely dead. Not oh, completely. my God. Okay? Not dead. I promise to God, if this screen time is over five hours, I will do some sort of thing. There's no way on earth my thing's over five hours. I'm doing good though. I'm and you should you should you should know that. I'm you should know my daily routine. Like I can't, I'm not. I no. I'm down sixteen percent from last week. You're down sixteen percent, and it's eleven and bro. It's not did that you just bad. Hear what you just said. If you were to wake up at nine o'clock, right? You wake up earlier than that. I'll give you I'll give you a bit of a doubt. If you wake up at seven, that's typically when you wake up. You wake up at seven o'clock. Your phone by that. If we never like if we didn't do breaks, you didn't put it down. Your phone, you, that means you are on your phone until 6.30. And that's down 16%. Which if my math is mathing, 
Okay, 11 hours, we'll call, we'll rough it. We'll go to 10, 16% of 10 or 100 would be another 16. So in this case, you another me. hour. If you're down 16%, at least another hour. So you mean to tell me that last week, you averaged 12 and a half hours. You wake up at seven, you're immediately on anything on your phone and yes. you don't get off of it <laughs> until 7.30 p.m. It's not that bad. That is insane. You're, uh, you're going to need distorted vision here in a couple, like, soon. Like, you're going to need, like, I, permanent I, 3D glasses. I wear contacts. You're going to need some <laughs> robo-mechanic contacts. Like, once-a-life ones, not once a day. They're going to be, like, in, like wired into your eyes. I feel like it could be worse. You, need, you know what? Somebody buy him blue light glasses. This guy's going to be blind <laughs> oh, that'd be at sick. 41. Someone's, he's, he needs blue light glasses. He's going to be blind Make him at stylish if you're going to put him in the he's PO He's going to be blind at 41. Oh, my God. Blind, bad rib cage, horrible ca cardiovascular health. Well, it, my cardiovascular health has gotten better due to AG1. It ha this is true. Hey, for real, though, like... It is great, though. It's, it is great. It, really it is, is great. Just make in the morning, a little drop of lemon in it. You're good. No pills, nothing. Go. Energy. It's fantastic. Uh, so, last week we had your uh, your your lovely wife a beautiful, on. Beautiful, wait. Beautiful, amazing, lovely wife is what I tried to say. Olivia, and love you, you. You told me, you and, you know, she's she's in us Harry Potter spells on here. Dude, oh my God. I really think her school is is Hogwarts. It is. I have proof. What up? <laughs> Dude, this was on like this was on like um Wednesday or Thursday. She comes home, right? So we have a little we have a routine. Like we both get home. She's like, How's your day? How's this day? Boom. Then she tells me about her teaching endeavors, right? So today this happened in my class, today that happened, recess was hilarious, whatever. She goes, she goes, babe, you're not gonna believe what happened. I go, what? She goes, So a little girl, of course, I'm not gonna say a little girl's name. A little girl in my class claims she comes up to me, Miss Kennedy, Miss Kennedy, I have a huge secret. I go, oh Lord, it's probably like her goldfish. She got a goldfish or yeah. something, her cats. Uh, whatever <laughs> a huge secret that we can't even tell the next door class like we can't even tell oh, miss blah 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 shit big old secret right cia operative where's the vanilla <laughs> folder <laughs> i mean someone's gonna have to lose an ear if they hear it type secret right can i share it with the class my wife being live sure doesn't even proof it doesn't make sure the girl could go up there and say some outlandish, outlandish stuff. Shit, doesn't yeah. even proof it. she goes of course honey yeah go <laughs> come on live she goes right up there she goes, all right, everyone pay attention. <laughs> she says she gets like aggressive. <laughs> Guys, listen up. You, like, this is a big secret of mine. These are first graders, by the way. So girls, probably six, seven years old. Huge secret of mine. Nobody else can know. You're not allowed to tell anyone. Seriously, okay? Just remember what we talked about last week, yes. okay? Sages, wizards, wands, Crystals. spells, Mr. E. <laughs> hit, hit it's the, the O's. O's. What, I mean, what the hell? They play Quidditch uh, in recess. Oga. Quidditch for house points. I mean, it's straight up Hogwarts at this point. <laughs> This girl goes to the front of the classroom, has the rest of her students listening to her, you know, very, uh, very government-like. You yes. know, she's up there just giving the speech. Yes. She goes, all right, guys, this is a huge secret of mine. I'm not kidding. And you're not allowed to tell anyone or something could happen. What do you mean, first off? Right then you know, What's going to happen? Cut it off. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the girl proceeds to say this. All right. Are y'all ready? The class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. I'm a witch. Talk about hitting the nail right on right the on head. head. You're in Hogwarts, Olivia. You need to get out. Someone's cooking up the dark arts in a janitor closet. Someone, the Dementors are going to be Expecto there soon. Expecto Patrona! No, literally. She goes, I'm a witch. They're on train station 19 and a half or whatever it is. Like they're trying to run through the thing. They're, going, they're running through brick walls to get on this amazing magical trolley that sells you chocolates that you spend with coins and then it gets really cold. Dementors come in. I mean, it's... I mean, I don't... Well, the proof is in the pudding. Proof is in the pudding. See, I would have been friends with her. We would have shared tales. Yeah, she probably would have. She, she, hell, she could have made it real. She could have, I expect I was a bleaky. And you literally <laughs> turn like, into oh a, real my life, God. a real life tale. And Peyton's sitting there, yes! My dream came Oh, thank you. A tale been, would be cool. No, it wouldn't. Is there anything you think that I say that you think would be cool? What's one thing? That I've shared with you that's, oh, that's kind of cool. That our Patreon's dropping. Oh, whatever. But yeah, man, I mean, that's like that, but uh, that's all jokes. I mean, obviously. It's the best part of being a kid. Yeah, we love children and yeah. their beautiful it's, little imaginations. They're so pure, but uh, I just thought it was hilarious. Like, proof is literally in the pudding. It's but, good on Liv for letting her yeah, share exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. That's fun. And good kids, on those kids, kids too. Kids for Yeah, for not, like listening and yeah. being a whole. That's, that's awesome. That's hilarious, though. But yeah, I don't have a good memory with school. Speaking of school, mean? I just have a bad memory. What do you, like, 
I had a school field trip that literally brought me the worst eight hours of my life. Go for it, buddy. Uh, what do you? Field trips supposed to be fun. It was traumatizing for me. Oh it was literally the like, worst I, eight hours of my life as an adult, too. Oh my lord! Nothing's topped this. No eight-hour block. It was haunt. It haunts me. You're shaking. All right, you paint the picture, Picasso. So, in elementary school, I was like third or fourth grade. I was a young kid. Young buck. Y youngin. Eight, nine years old. Never really experienced anxiety before, separation anxiety and fear well, until so this point. You're one of, you get dropped off. No, no. Like, well, this was my first time God. being out of the school, right? I did. I'm used to an, a certain environment. I'm used to a routine. I liked going to school, getting my education, going home. <laughs> Structure creates security. Exactly. This day, they're like, we're getting on this big yellow school bus, going to a museum 30 minutes away. No, 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 no. I was like, what? What's happening? No, What's no, going no, on? Not, not the yellow bus. No. My mom said yellow bus bad. No. <laughs> yellow bus means no, no. So as soon as we get on the yellow bus, emotion overcomes my body. I am <laughs> not hyperventilating. I'm bawling, crying oh, on no. the way there. There's no way. I'm, in the, There's no way. I'm literally laying in a school bus seat like this. I'm going, oh, I want to go back. Oh my God. Literally, my crush was in my class too. She looks back at me and she's, she's like, like this is weird. Why is his tail sticking out? So I'm bawling, crying to the point where one of the chaperones had to come from the front of the bus and sit beside me and just pat me like a damn Labrador <laughs> the whole time. It's going to be okay, buddy. What the hell? Your hair's long. What's that? Is that a tail you got there? What's that smell? What's that smell? So I'm, I'm bawling, crying on the way to this museum. I was frightened to be off of the school premises. I didn't like it. We get to the lobby of this museum, all and there's just historical figures, paintings, ambient music happening. I feel like I'm in a haunted house. I didn't like that. I started to get the trembles, right? I'm shaking, and I literally have to have a chaperone holding me this whole time. The only thing that was okay, little weird guy. <laughs> The only thing that was keeping me secure on this field trip was I brought my favorite WWE action figure and I held on to it Dude, for dear life. Oh, there's no way you were that kid. There's no way. Do not make fun of me. There's no way. Like, just go with your book bag. I did, but I had him with me, the little action figure, and I was, I was gripping onto him. White <laughs> knuckling this little guy. Oh, he was keeping Lord. me safe. So as we're in the lobby, our teacher goes, we have to go up these stairs to this movie theater. Up these stairs. That seems fun. You would think so, but these stairs were the most steep, haunting stairs Dude. I have ever seen. It was like there was no like steady incline. It was like almost vertical. These I stairs. guarantee these were normal stairs, and you were just insane. I guarantee there's normal stairs. No, haunting. There's no way you're, climbing, you're There's no way you're facing a mountain to go to a movie theater. And I was a young kid. I didn't experience stairs like that. I was in a one-story house. I've never really experienced stairs, so this was a big level up for this for any stairs I've a been level on. Level up? What are you, Mario? Just right foot, left foot. Get up the stairs. That's what the, that's what the chaperone told me, but I couldn't do it. I took two steps and I looked up. I got real dizzy and real anxious. I started to get the spins. The spins? I got real nervous, right? So I just cried on the bus. I'm holding my action figure trying to walk up these stairs, but I couldn't do it on two feet. So I thought the only way I get up these stairs, bear crawling it. Shut up. I swear to you. I had my action figure in my left hand. I had a free right hand backpack. Tears are still on my shirt, on my eyes. I have red eyes. Chaperones holding my back. And I was like, do not touch me. The only way I could get up these stairs is if I bear crawl. So I'm bear crawling up these stairs, right? <laughs> I'm, and I'm taking a peek every like four steps trying to see when is this nightmare going to be over? Oh my God. So you're like a little dog. <laughs> oh my God. So I power through it, right? I'm at almost... <laughs> I'm almost at the brink. The, the, the daunting journey of up the stairs. I'm almost at the brink of tears. And I didn't look up because I, the higher I got, the more dizzy I got. The spin started to get real bad. So as I'm powering through the last bear crawl to get at the top of the stairs, my classmates long gone. I was way far behind because I was scared. I get to the top of the steps. Steps. Yeah. I get to the top of the steps. I look up to get my bearings. It is like... I am in one of those mirror houses. It's just everything is like warped oh looking at me. God. And I thought, oh my God, I'm sick now. I got, I got, I got the flu. Like it felt like I was the sickest I've ever been. 
I don't know why I decided to do this. I was like, I need to see how high I am. I look over the oh, balcony. You're indoors. What is it? I've never experienced stairs like this. Wow. So I look over the balcony. It was like we climbed to the top of the Statue of Liberty. And how high we were. It was terrifying how high we were. It's probably like two stories. I go, I turn around, I throw up on myself. I, you, you shut up. You suck. I so, throw up. You suck so much. But. You suck so bad. You suck. You suck. You little suck. But I was a courteous throw upper. I threw up all over my chest. I didn't get it on anybody else. Courte if I'm vomiting, whoever's next to me, sorry about you. I'll be damned if I throw up on myself. But my mom always taught me to think of others. So I just threw up on myself. I didn't have a change of clothes. Oh my gosh, dude. So my chaperone had to take me to the bathroom. And they were just like wiping me with napkins. And they were just like, oh my god. Just fucking. This just kid has ruined my day. She's like, I, I'm not getting paid for this damn chaperone. So, as when we went, when I finally got my bearings together, got most of the throw up. There was still a big stain on my shirt. We went to the movie theater room. The field trip was in the morning. We go into the theater room and they had breakfast laid out for us, right? Okay. But like not a full breakfast, like eggs and bacon. They had like little trinkets. They had muffins. Yum. You get to refuel yourself. Vomit's gone. You're good. I was like, thank God, maybe this could be the start to the to the rest of the, the day. The start of the field trip. Yeah. The scary part's over with. Yeah, the scary part's over with. Whatever. I walk up to the muffin stand. I go, what kind of muffins are these? They say, blueberry muffins. Fantastic. I'm allergic to blueberry muffins. <laughs> I'm allergic to blueberries. <laughs> Deathly allergic. I, I will close up if I get a blueberry. So I, you've sucked forever. You've sucked so long. I was so I was just oh, that, empty of throw up, and I couldn't eat that, a muffin. Oh, okay. This yeah, this is traumatizing. And this so they're like, terrible. "Well, well, at least get a drink." And the drinks were milk, and I'm like, "Toast intolerant." <laughs> I had to go to a water fountain. This is a horror story. <laughs> That's why I said oh. this is the worst experience of my life. Oh my god. Whatever. We we get to the rest of the field Whatever. trip. Whatever. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm starving. I'm I'm dehydrated. Empty. We get to the rest of the field trip. Kids don't really talk to me. The chaperone hates me. I oh, smell yeah. horrible. You smell like yuck. <laughs> I missed my mom. We were away from the school. Uh, my face is dry from all the tears. So, like, we go through the whole day of this stupid museum. <laughs> we finally get back on the bus, and we're driving back to the school, and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, at least my WWE action figure has taken care of me. There's throw up on him? He's not there anymore. I left him. <laughs> I left my security blanket. I go, you left your whoopee. I threw a tantrum. We got to turn around. He's there. You were that kid. I was awful. Like, stop the bus! Oh my! I sucked as a kid. Oh my god, that's uh, you. Yeah, that's the worst. Like, I would have, I would have, mm, being that chaperone would have been a, a, a testimony to my patience. Yeah. Oh my lord, Lord have mercy. That's. I didn't have the best experience, right? I've never, and and I grew up in that city for eighteen years. Every time I drove past that museum, I was just like. I hate that damn museum. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Museum horror story. This is what you get here on the You Should Know. Museum that horror story. That is ridiculous. I'm getting like PTSD. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're, I'm embarrassed. Say, you're awfully calm right now. You're you're thinking. That I'm brain, that little, that little weak little mushy brain is there's some there's some electricity flying around. That's my drawers sick. are wet. That's sick. That's um ridiculous. that's a good end of the podcast. You're I don't you're, really want to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's haunting him. Yeah, fuck, that sucked. And I'm going to have to read comments <laughs> for a week about it. Hey, dude, well, I mean, we could really, like, I promise our museums, but no. No, 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 no I'm not going happening. to no damn museum, it's especially if I have stairs, I'm taking the elevator. <laughs> yeah, why didn't y'all take the elevator? I don't know, because we had 30 kids. Maybe, and they that, don't chap maybe that chaperone was just making you, maybe they were looking out for you. Well, because every other kid, your fears. no, every other kid was normal, and they were like, go up the stairs. Oh, you mean every other human being could just go right, left, up, up a staircase? <laughs> uh, not me, though. That shit scared me, bro. Bro, you just like you, oh, you had a vomit stain. You smelt like just you smelt like disease. You literally were bear crawling up a staircase. You left your action figure. You said there was a mirror maze at the top. It was you the only thing that there was to eat? You were either intolerant to it or allergic to it. 
I mean, that is like it was a recipe for horror. Yeah, that is that is awful. It's traumatic. That's I told like, you. That sounds like a sentencing for someone. Like it just you do something you're terrified of, then you don't get to eat, and it's oh, bad. That's bad. Well, uh, guys, thank you so much for enjoying this episode of the You Should Know podcast. Um, secret code, yeah. N W P. That's long. N W P L. Take a guess. No way Peyton lies. Nope. <laughs> Next week, Patreon live. live. Next week, the Patreon is live. Confuse the casuals. Get your good karma. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment, subscribe, everything you could ever possibly want to know. Like uh, anything, like where you're going to live here in 20 years. All that is in the description. Anything. Just any question. Discord, you all have. that's in the... Thing. All of it's in the description. Instagrams, everything you need to know. And then starting next week, hence the code, NWPO. Next week, Patreon live. Uh, Patreon will also be in the description. It'll be linked. It's going to be fantastic. We cannot wait to tell you more about that. Um, yeah. Again, for real, for real though, uh, happy MLK Day. I hope you got this day off of work to just kind of sit there, relax, and think of all the relationships in your life that are able to be due to MLK and other uh, people that fought for very necessary uh, movements and rights. So happy MLK Day. We love you. Hear from you, Chanel. And you got anything, Bubba, besides a shoe flip? Oh, you got something to say. You got something to say. You got something to say. What do you say? Thank you. No, what do you have to say? What? Thank you? What are you, still eight? Thank you? <laughs> I feel like a kid I can't. Ooh, <laughs> how many koalas? What are the koala bears? Don't make them. <gasps> Here, he'll recover. I got it. One out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. My shoe flip's not as good. We love y'all. We'll see you next There's week. There's blood. I fucking hit that mic, bro. I fucking hit me in the tooth. Live show in Dallas, Texas coming at the uh, in like May, June.